I'm Brian Parsons. Locally, the big sports story of the week in Hampton Roads was Old Dominion University's campus master plan and a consultant's recommendation to build a brand new football stadium near the Elizabeth River on the site of the Palatan apartment dorms. We sent Chopper 10 out to scope out the location down by the river. Athletic Director Dr. Wood Selig told the sports rep that he and his staff are trying to determine a capacity for a new stadium. The numbers he gave us were 28 to 30,000 with the ability to expand. He also stressed that the stadium would be very high quality with chair back seats, big improvement over bleachers. As for building new versus expanding Foreman Field. The, the renovation of Foreman Field occupied a lot of our initial time. And the determination that, that really dictated that we needed to move off that site was the fact that the footprint was so confined with Hampton Boulevard, Blue Stone, and other buildings that were in place that we could never figure a way to get that footprint beyond 25,000 seats. So you think about how much money you might invest in a renovation, or even if you were to destroy, you know, knock down Foreman Field, knock down the stadium, and rebuild on that site, you're only going to be able to go to 25,000 seats. So the, the investment was not worth the return on that particular location. As far as the location goes, if ODU does go through with the plan to build a new stadium at the Palatine apartment site, it would offer views of the water, something you don't see very often at a college football stadium. I, I think it's a great location. We're off Powhatan Avenue toward the waterfront, toward the Elizabeth River. I think it has the potential to be extremely unique. You think about facilities on the water in college athletics, quickly it comes to mind this Washington, University of Washington Huskies in Seattle, how people boat to their games. Knoxville, Tennessee, University of Tennessee with the river going by their stadium. We're going to have a similar setup here where I think we can have access from water, from land. I think it's going to be a real unique selling point for our football program that we have a stadium on the river with river views and river access. Head coach Bobby Wilder, well, it doesn't take much to get him excited. With, with the Monarchs making the move to Conference USA, the chance that a new stadium could be built is just one more element of ODU's tremendous growth since resurrecting football a mere four years ago. There's an incredible excitement level with the presentation. Just to think that that's something we're talking about right now. Just to think how far we've come in, in four years of playing. Just to think how passionate the 12th Monarchs are about our program. Just to think that the administration uh, would even consider something like that makes me very proud to be the head football coach here. And it makes all those players very proud to know that they had something to do uh, with a working draft that's potentially a beautiful new stadium right here on our campus at Old Dominion. ODU opens the season this Saturday night in Greenville against the East Carolina Pirates.